basically 18 gale force rods and there's a rod rack back there too we're doing a lot for the gale force brand but we're not fishing and this stuff what you're seeing today guys is probably like 70 percent what happens today's lunch is gonna be leftover chicken wings that are homemade we met with the guys at fell marine to install a man overboard system and at this point we're basically just gonna run back to the house and finish up some more computer work and some busy work when the weather is bad we take advantage of that we're really hustling on yes. our like administrative work welcome to today's gale force twins episode clearly we are not on the water today so we're gonna be taking you guys with us for what we do kind of another day in the life vlog what do we do when we're not fishing and, and running a small business exactly my name is amanda my name is emily and welcome to our channel gale force twins So the first thing we did today, why don't we check out what we did this morning and then we'll be right back with you. How about that? Good morning, guys. We got up at like 5.30 and now we're gonna go for a run. We have a three mile tempo run, which for the non-runners out there, we're gonna basically be doing three miles at a comfortable heart. So we'll have one mile slow, three miles at tempo, and then another mile slow. So five miles total. You guys may have recently seen, we ran a Disney half marathon. And we're kind of keeping up with that trend. Yes. So on the days we're not fishing, we go for a run and we go for Maybe a run. Maybe we do a workout and then we go and sit on our butts on our computers mostly the rest of the day. So we're gonna go and yeah, run. Yeah, but today we have a lot of errands Quite a to few run. errands. So we're that. gonna go run first and then we're gonna go run some errands. It's not even 9 a.m. yet and we're on our way to Lower Keys Bait and Tackle, our local tackle shop in Big Pine Key. You guys saw that bundle of plastic from our intro. Yes, yes. so check this out. We have basically 18 Gale Force rods and there's a rod rack back there too. And where are these rods going, Emily? They are going to be available for purchase at Lower Keys Bait and Tackle in Big Pine. So I'm super excited about that. It's a very momentous moment for the Gale Force brand. We are now available in, in stores. stores. Store. It's not Store. Store. We're now available in a shop, which is still super, super cool. So that was part of the motivation for filming this vlog with you guys today because we're doing a lot for the Gale Force brand, but we're not fishing because you guys see us fishing and boating quite often. But quite frankly, we don't fish and we don't get on the water every day. Not not even close to every day. No, not at all. A lot of this stuff, like what you're like how see many today, days this week do you think we're gonna fish, Emily? Well, we'll be on the water maybe like three days. Two or three days, and then we're three doing days. today. And we have days, today. Yes, days. It's also, we're also kind of in the windy season, so we're not fishing as much. Like in the summer, we'd be on the water, what, seven, five, six. If it's, if it's great weather, we're out there like seven days. But it's not like that this time of year. So we're doing stuff like this. And this stuff, what you're seeing today, guys, is probably it's like 70% of what, what happens. Would you say so, Amanda? Yes, definitely. Here we are at Lower Keys Bait and Tackle. So it's the tackle shop that has mahi pattern all over it. Just a little fun fact. If you're ever driving on the road in Big Pine and you're driving towards Key West, look to your left, look for this tackle shop. Okay, Gale Force rod rack is right there and we've got our um, 18 Gale Force rods in front of Lower Keys Bait and Tackle. There's their sign right there. It is the mahi pattern building. So if you guys are ever looking for it, there's their big sign, and we're gonna head inside with these rods. We are at Lower Keys Bait and Tackle in Big Pine, and guys, we have our Gale Force rods. The rack is the here. The rack is full. We have it's 18 here. rods here. Right now, what rods do we have here? So we have the 15 to 30 pound do-it-all rod, and then we also have our reef rod, so that's our 10 to 20 pound snapper rod. Both available for you guys. First stop of the day is done. Gale Force rods are officially in store near you. <laughs> Soon to be stores. So we, our odds are in Lower Keys Tackle. It is 9.35 and now we gotta head home. We actually have a call today, which happens pretty often, but let's get home first. Hi, Bill. We weren't gone that long. 
We are now home. It is 9.52. <laughs> so we have to answer some emails. Some of the things that we do regularly in our day includes sending an email to a guy named Leo to help us get our Fort Lauderdale booth boat, our Fort Lauderdale boat show booth. booth set up. Set up, so we're gonna be working on that today. We have to watch a video and do some revisions on a video today. And we have a call at 11 a.m. with a company, could be a potential partnership. We'll see what happens with that. Is that. Those are the things that we're doing all the time. Emails, calls, boat shows, running to tackle shops. And that takes up, like Emily said, sometimes like 70% of our week. Oh yeah, it can And this take is up one of those lot. weeks where it is. This week we're right. literally well, fishing twice. Specifically, when the weather is bad, we take advantage of that and we'll switch gears and make sure that the week yes. that we aren't fishing a lot, we're really hustling on yes. our like administration of work. Yes, and today is a Tuesday, so today and tomorrow is literally gonna be like this. Yeah. And then Friday, and Saturday, Thursday and Friday, we're gonna fish. Yes. So we're gonna sit around computers for a while. You guys probably don't want to stare at us do that. Yeah. And no. we'll check back in with you on our next venture, which does include putting our boat in the water for the week of fishing. Yes, and maybe getting some lunch or something. Yeah, maybe we'll get some yeah. lunch. All right, guys, today's lunch is gonna be leftover chicken wings. These are homemade. I like to reheat wings in the toaster oven. So much better than the microwave. And they're seasoned, if anyone's curious, with this Lane's Barbecue Sweet Heat. Really cool company. They just sent us some um, seasonings. So I'll put it to the reheat setting. 300, probably put it for like 15 minutes. Nothing too crazy for lunch. We also have some homemade cornbread. So we'll probably have a side of cornbread with our chicken wings. Just pretty much last night's dinner. So what we did is we met with the guys at Felmarine to install a, what is this called, Emily? A man overboard system that's totally electronic. It meets all legal requirements. So you don't have to, so it basically is, it replaces your kill switch essentially electronically you've got a fob we're gonna have to put this to the test because we have not done that yet but basically if the captain's fob loses its signal engine automatically goes off and if your passenger's fob loses its signal it sends a message to the captain so it's pretty cool we just got it installed literally took like 10 minutes and we're looking forward to getting this done so this is just another thing we're doing in our day not fishing not on the water it's blowing like crazy we do need to get the boat in the water might do it tomorrow though and at this point, we're basically just gonna run back to the house and finish up some more computer work and some busy work. Once again, today's one of those days where we were like back and forth. Usually we would try to organize our day to be out, out all day and then back for a portion of the day. But today was just, well, everything that we did today was local. So like went to our local tackle shop and then we went and met Felmarine at the local boat ramp. So it was really, really easy. Exactly. And the rest of the day, we basically have to finish up our to-do list. And once again, we're not gonna sit down and bore you and do to-dos together. But <laughs> what we are gonna do is we're gonna read you what our to-do list looks like. The first thing we're gonna be doing is making TikToks. If you guys don't follow us on TikTok or Gale Force Twins on TikTok, we're everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. We're also on a platform called Rumble. And Waypoint TV. Waypoint TV. There's lots of places to watch if you exactly. don't like it. So some of the TikToks we're gonna be making include TikToks from our YouTube video. How to back a boat down, sorry, not how to, how, how to, to back, back down. A trailer on a ramp. Guys, this is Squid Brain. It's like kind Wait, of the end of the day. How to back a trailer on a ramp? Is this the one when we load the boat? Or no, the when we, we unload the boat. Okay. I just never made TikToks. Well, the video's been out for like a month. I just never made TikToks. So we're gonna make TikToks for that. We also have to make some TikToks from when we went fishing with Ace from Ace's videos. He's also on YouTube. We went king fishing. We did a catch, clean, cook. I have those TikToks. That was a TikTok. fun collaboration. That was a fun one. The next thing we have to do is to file our annual report and some accounting stuff, which basically means I have to go into our QuickBooks account and I have to finish our credit card for QuickBooks. Taxes are due in April. It's very important. So <laughs> we have to do our, we do our, well, we have an account, but we do our own QuickBooks and bookkeeping. Yeah. So that's something that I have to do. It's always been my job. She's been more, we're both creative, but. I do. You do yeah, more of the creative, creative work. work. Then we have to schedule posts for our new Facebook and Instagram pages called Gale Force Gear. So, you know, like our Gale Force rods and apparel. And like, that's our page that we created Mainly because of you guys. Because actually. we could receive so many photos from you guys of you in our shirts using our rods, and it was incredible. We love the photos so much that we wanted a page for that. So if you guys do tag us in Gale Force Gear or email us your photos, we would love to post. We them. would love to post them. That's probably where they're going to end up with your permission. <laughs> Next we have. Oh, we have had this on the list for like since. Okay, let's be real. We've kind of had 1st. it on it since January. 
It's just been a really crazy year. We've been meaning to reevaluate our one year and five year business plan. Well, I think the one year is kind of set, but yeah, more the so the five, five year, year. We just need to actually sit down in the Update morning. Update it, you know. And just make sure like everything's going smoothly. And then we have some wholesale emails to get out. For yes. Other. So as you guys saw, our, tack, our rods are now in Lower Keys Tackle. And we do have a couple other shops that are interested in having our rods in. So we have some emails to send out from that end. We have some we need to answer. And we have some shops that we've talked to that are interested. So that's kind of another thing is figuring out what shops our rods are going to be in. Of course, as they are in shops, we'll be sending you guys emails hopefully and letting you guys know that while, they're available. While we have you guys here, outside of all of social media, if there's an ultimate place to follow us, the ultimate top tier spot, it's not even a follow, it's subscribe. Oh my good, I was hoping you would say this. Subscribe to our mailing list. So galeforcefishing.com forward slash subscribe, put your email in. Email subscribers will be notified when new videos come out, when we have women's events, fishing events, when we're hosting seminars, meet and greets, sales, sales on our website. Like if there's like the ultimate place to Rods know Rods available in stores. Yes, that's the place to know. Yes, so that's kind of what our to-do list is like. And earlier we were saying like 70% of what we do is this kind of stuff, which it probably is pretty accurate. We have days like yes. this all, all the time. time. Calls, emails, running into tackle shops, I mean, business I'm sure meetings. many of you guys out there that are also probably small business owners know that I mean, it's a 24 seven job. The to-do list doesn't end. It doesn't end, ever. No. 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 But that's kind of it. And then the rest of the week, what else do we have planned? We're gonna do some kayaking. Yes, um, so we're going kayaking one day this week. We are going in. in There'll be a video on yes. the kayaking. There'll be a kayak video, a fishing video, and then the weather gets bad. The weather, the weather gets bad. And, and tomorrow is a whole nother day of admin. Just yes. what else do we have to do? Take Kona for a walk, maybe. And that's kind of it. That's, go for a run. Go, go for, for a run. run. Yep. We. Um, are signed up for the oh, yes, Chicago true. Half Marathon in September. <laughs> Super looking forward to that. So we've already started training and running for that. So that's kind of what our day looks like. Nothing special, nothing glamorous. On the water, it looks beautiful, but a lot of the times we're just sitting in our computers. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing a little bit more into what the behind the scenes of our business looks like and what we do when we're not fishing. We want you guys to get out there, have fun, and stay safe.